Q for Treason, Chapter 18, by Brooke Crawford, Adam Harvey, Mel Wilson, and Andrew Parley. It started raining. Peter walks over to Anthony. Anthony is unconscious. Peter is glad he didn't kill him. Peter runs outside to grab some cord. Peter rolls him over and ties Anthony's ankles and wrists. Peter looks for a dagger or pistol, but he finds nothing. He also loosens the cords on Anthony. Can't find the dagger! Peter goes over to the water and takes off his clothes. He then sinks them in the water using stones. He laces his shoes to his hips and let his hat float in the water so they thought he drowned. Peter goes back to Duncan and frees his hands completely. Peter goes back to the water. Peter starts swimming. I mustn't give up. I mustn't give up. Peter arrives to the other island. He arrives at shore and staggers at the beach. He puts his shoes on. Peter hears voices talking and sees horses. He turns back to the beach, but they already noticed him. He runs blindly through the woods to a valley. He turns off the road he was on. Peter hears a pistol go. Not all of you, he may double back to the road. They started running up a mountain. The mountain turned into jagged rocks. The first pursuer caught up to Peter. Peter falls to the ground. He jumps at the man's legs and twists it violently. Peter pushes him off the cliff. You little fox, a fine chase you've given us. <laughs> Peter kept climbing. He looked back to see the second pursuer no longer follow.
Bye.